Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew from uh, TravelingGuitarist.com. Today, I'm talking to you about uh, br bridge pins. So, a lot of people like to ask whether or not guitar bridge pins are universal. <coughs> and no, they're not. By no means are guitar bridge pins always universal. They're usually... They come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. You know, they come in bone, ivory, rose, rosewood, brass, plastic. Um... Even the plastic ones can be different sizes. Um, actually, a few years ago, as you can see, well, I, the reason why I'm pointing over here is that's where my guitar is, but this picture right here, it shows my the bridge pins the way it is right now. So these these plastic ones right here, and I actually have uh, bone ones right here. And if you can see, like we'll zoom in on that, like you can see the way that they have marks all over them because it's because they need pliers. I have to use pliers to like pull them out whenever I change the strings because they're they're too big, they're too tight, because they need to be uh, the the holes need to be uh, reamed out properly by a luthier. So I mean, if it, when it comes time to change your bridge pins for whatever reason, you know maybe they're broken, or maybe you just want to get a different tone. Um, it's definitely worth taking your your guitar to a luthier because uh, you know it's there's a potential that you're going to make the wrong decision. Um, usually, um, like when it comes to plastic, I think you can get them in either three millimeter or four mil four millimeter. Wow. I can't talk this morning, three millimeter or four millimeters. Um, I think that's the same thing with the other ones as well, though. Um, I'm not entirely sure to be completely honest with you, but anyway, um, yeah, they, they come in a variety of different, of different sizes, so they're not universal. Anybody who tells you that they're universal is, no, they're incorrect. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of the video. That's, a, that's what it's all about. I guess we'll talk a little bit about what the bridge pins actually do, um, which a lot of people think that the bridge pins kind of, they're what's responsible for holding them in place, but, and they kind of are in a way, but what, what they're, what they're really doing is they're kind of like holding the strings ball end against the bridge plate inside of the guitar's sound hole. So they're kind of holding them in place, but it's more like the bridge plate that's holding them in there. It's more of like a collaborative function. They're not the primary thing that's holding them in place. Um, you know, if you don't, if, uh, if they're not the proper size or whatever, there's a chance that the strings ball end won't be totally anchored to the bridge plate inside. And then the, the, the strings will just slip out sometimes and the pin will just fly out from the bridge. Um, so it's important to get the proper size of bridge pins. Um, so now we're going to talk about just the, the, the five most common types of bridge pins and we'll talk about, uh, the pros and cons of each one. So you got plastic, wood, ivory, bone, and brass. Um, those are the main ones. I'm pretty sure there's all kinds of uh, bridge pins out there that are made out of different materials, but those are the main ones. Um, when it comes to plastic bridge pins, they're extremely inexpensive. They don't cost much money, and there you can buy them at pretty much any music store. Um, however, they're not. They don't do anything positive for the sound. They don't do anything for the quality of the sound of your instrument. Um, but they are they are cheap, and um, you, you know usually they come in the same sizes, so um, you won't have you know too much of a problem getting them to fit. Wood bridge pins, on the other hand, they cost a little bit more money, and they also inc increase the sustain a little bit. Because if you think about it, wood is it's conducive to sound; like it, it lets sound pass through, so it tends to help with sustain. Um, and just quickly worth mentioning, you know, all bridge pins, you know, especially when you change materials, you're probably going to need to get the a luthier to fit them properly. So that's with all of these next bridge pins as well. Um, when it comes to ivory, ivory is like elephant's tusk. So a lot of people are, you know, hesitant about getting this kind because, you know, some people have ethical issues with that. Um, they increase the sustain of the guitar and, and it makes the uh, tone more warm. They also look kind of cool. However, um, people like to say that the bone bridge, 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 bridge pins actually have the same sonic quality as ivory. So, um, you know, so it's really not like getting ivory bridge pins. Like it's, that's mostly like a status thing. Like it's not really, it's not really going to help your tone that much. It's just some, some like cool thing that people were ostensibly cool, I guess that some people are into. I don't judge. That's what you want to do, man. 
whatever. But anyway, um, bone bridge pens, you can usually find them at, at a store too. You can just, you can buy these off Amazon too. I'm sure Amazon has all kinds of bridge pens. Um, brass bridge pens, on the other hand, are, you know, if you think about it, they're made out of steel, like a type of metal, excuse me, not steel, but a type of metal. And um, for that reason, they're a lot, lot brighter. Some people even say <coughs> that they're too bright. Um, they cost more money and they're a bit harder to find. And um, yeah, you're definitely going to need to get your guitar reamed out to get these to fit. Um, what else should I say here? Um, yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can get away with bridge pins that aren't the perfect size. Um, that's that's what's on my guitar right now. The the, the bone bridge pins are not uh, properly fitted. They they so work, but of course it's not ideal, you know. But um, yeah, so if if you want to get new bridge pins, you know, just just buy the kind that you want. Get the you know, research it a little bit, you know, if you want more sustain and more, more of a warm tone, you know, get bone or get a, you know, wooden bridge pins, just take it to a luthier around you, whatever, wherever there is one in your area and uh, they'll fix you up. They'll ream the holes out a bit and then uh, you'll be good to go. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, I guess you could try and do it yourself, but you don't want to risk messing up your guitar. So anyway, I think uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.